Namaste and welcome to Kathmandu, Nepal. Today I'm embarking on a journey to Emirates Space Camp. Right now I am in the bus just next to the airplane that will fly to Lukla Airport, which is the most dangerous airport in the world, which is also the first step of Everest Space Camp. We are waiting for them to say okay, so that we run for the window seats as there are no assigned seats. All right. Okay. Abi sağ mıydı, sol muydı? We got the window seats. Now we're gonna watch the views of Himalayas from here. crossed <laughs> Oh my god, that was the fastest landing I have ever witnessed. We are finally here. <laughs> and that's where we get our luggages. This is the airport that I told you about. It's the most dangerous airport in the world. That's because the runway is so short, it's like 800 meters. It's really cold here. I cannot even imagine how it is like in base camp. This is crazy. The first vibes is insane. I didn't sleep last night because of the excitement for today. All right. All right. Everest vibes. So we just started our trekking. Uh, today is gonna be a bit chill. We're gonna be walking two, th two to three hours. This feels like a city right now. And we are actually on the mountains. So now we are about at 2,700 meters above sea level and we're gonna go as high as 5,500 meters. That's where the Everest Base Camp is. This is the first gate. Hassan Lamu is the first lady to ever climb Mount Everest. Oh, 30 years ago. Okay. So as you know, Mount Everest is located in a national park. That's why we have to register and pay a fee to enter here. It's 2,100 Nepalese rupee, which is equal to like Twenty dollars. We're gonna be having our breakfast here, the first meal of the day. And that's our breakfast. We also have black tea. It's not that black yet, but yeah, you get the idea. The name of these animals are called Jopke and they help carry the luggages from Lukla Airport all the way up to the Everest Space Camp. All right, we are one hour into trekking now. And everything goes well so far. And the sky is really clear, so you get to see the mountains while you are trekking. There are a lot of oxygen here. <laughs> In the place that we are heading to, there won't be as much. <laughs> yep, we will need some luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so shaky. This is the entrance of Buddhist village. That's why there are stones like this. Oh, 
Just resting here, watching this beautiful scenery. These bridges are so wavy, like it doesn't feel secure, but the view is worth it. Even though it's the first day, I'm already in love with this place. All right, so we arrived in our first accommodation place. All right, we arrived in Padding and we're gonna be getting some rest and we're gonna stay here for the night and uh, tomorrow we're gonna head out to Namchi Pazar. So far so good. I got some energy, even though I couldn't get any sleep last night. Today I hope to get some sleep. By the way, I'm doing this in November uh, because the weather is amazing and the sky is so clear. I can see the mountains really clearly, which is really important for me to get, you know, really good angles and to show you the best version of the Everest. Let's get some food and take some rest. So the guide recommended us to have garlic soup here because it would boost the immune system and also help with the altitude. The food looks nice. So the blood oxygen level is right now 96%, but as we go up, as we elevate, it's gonna get lower and lower. Over 5,000 meters, it's difficult to breathe and the oxygen levels are so low. So I have to eat accordingly. And if I have uh, nausea, headaches, and different kinds of diarrhea, different kinds of uh, symptoms, I should also take a pill called Diamax for the altitude. I hope I don't need it, but we'll see. <laughs> Society. <laughs> this always happens. freezing out here. <laughs> Let's have breakfast. This is like the coldest water in the world. Mm, it's time to have breakfast. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So early in the morning, porters uh, from this region, they're also called Sherpas, bring, uh, come to the hotel and they take the luggages from the hotel and bring the luggages to the destination that the trackers will arrive today. And uh, thanks to them, we are actually able to do this trip. Otherwise, it would be impossible. And the second day starts. It's gonna be like six to eight hours walk, but it's gonna worth it. Best guide in Nepal, Ganam. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Ganam. Come on, Ganam. <laughs> Here's also really nice, actually. Like, I love it here. The nature here is amazing. Is it like, your this first, is, first time in Nepal, is it? Yeah, it is. 
and first time here. Okay. No, it's my second. No. Yeah. Second in Everest? Second, I've done this before, yeah, sure. yeah. So, uh, well, it's really interesting. He actually visited my hometown, Trabzon, uh, last week, and now he's here doing the Everest you know, base camp tracking. World is small. World is real small. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, eight <eight-bear>. bear. <laughs> you gonna shoot me? <laughs> Chuck, eight. The mountain you see in front of me is called Tamserku and it's like 6,600 meters high above sea level. Check out this view, it's just amazing. The river is flowing, there is that mountain like just standing in front of you. Oh my god, this is just pure beauty. For tea. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Lakush and I'm Tom. What is it? Halil. Halil. Nice How to meet you. you. How old are you? I am 30 years old. How old are you? I am 30 years old. Do you go to school? No. No? Will you go to school? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Are you playing a game here? Hello, and go. <laughs> the kids here are like the cutest. Hmm? Do you know YouTube? Yeah? This is for YouTube. I make video here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say something? No. No? <laughs> no, we're playing games now. Yeah. So how, how do you play this game? Like this? Oh, okay. I'm X. You're going to win the game. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, here. here. Oh, but, but if I do this? This? My name is... Oh, that's how you play, play the game. Again. Hanu. Okay, Hanu. Oh. Hanu. Hanu. Oh. And you win it again. Yeah, Hanu. Hanu. <laughs> Hanu. Draw. No. It, you played two times. <laughs> mm, Hanu. 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 <laughs> Draw again. I win. I am winner. You are winner. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing with my other friends now. <laughs> you won the chocolate. Now we are at a checkpoint. This place is located in Sagarmanta National Park. It's also forbidden to fly a drone here. That's why I didn't bring my drone. The soldiers are asking if you have a drone or not. All right. So we're gonna be having our lunch here. Wow, what a nice place. <laughs> Everywhere I walk, I'm like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it just never ends. Everyone is having their lunch here. We're gonna be having our 
And here. We ordered this plate. It's mixed vegetables with potato. And we have like two hours left, so we're gonna climb like 600 meters more. After a certain level of altitude, this is what happens. <laughs> So this is the highest bridge uh, of our trekking and they say it's the best one. Sometimes the streets are too narrow for both people and animals so we just let them go. This guy is bringing door to the next village. A door. <laughs> Here is another checkpoint. So for the entrance, this is how much you pay. Namche Bazaar is beneath this hill. There it is. Namche Bazaar. Namche Bazaar is at 3,440 meters high above sea level. Namche Bazaar feels like a city. And don't forget, everything that is here is brought here either on a, on a donkey or a porter. He made it to the hotel. <laughs> and I'm gonna be staying here tonight. And here's the view of the room. Okay, this soup is called Sherpa stew and I, I want to eat this to get some more energy and also feel a little bit warm. And it took us like uh, seven hours to come here. And also I had a shower today and I had paid like three to four dollars for hot shower. And up, the higher you go, the more money you have to pay for hot water. And after today, we won't even have internet and we'll also have to pay for electricity in our next destination but uh, we're gonna be here in Namche Bazaar for two days so I'll see you in the morning good morning and this is my breakfast today yesterday I got up like four times like I slept at 9 30 and then I got up at 12 and then I got up at 2 and then 4 and then 5 uh, I think because of the high altitude, I had to, I just couldn't get, you know, proper sleep. We are getting ready to go up. Today we're going to be doing acclimatization. We're going to go to a higher altitude and come back and stay in Namche Bazaar again. This is to adjust our bad bodies to the altitude. Uh, today we're gonna be seeing Everest, right, for the first time? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Okay, that's the best thing about today's route. So, let's go on with our trekking. Let's go. We came to a point where we can now see a Mount Everest. So, the mountain you see on the left is Everest, and the one on the right is Lotse and that peaky mountain over there is Amadablam. This guy here is the first Sherpa that ever climbed Mount Everest Tenjin 
Lord Gesherpa. That's why there's a statue of him uh, in front of this amazing scenery. Snow leopards also live here. There are at least four of them. It will be impossible to, you know, just witness one of them, but you never know. This place is actually a viewpoint. It's called Jorkem. You get to see the panoramic view of the mountains from here. So we came from there yesterday. And right now we are just above Namche Bazar. Oh, it's an army helicopter. Yeah? Yes. Then one of the airport is up there. Because of up there, some, uh, some ways altitude sickness. Oh, people getting sick. That's why a yes, lot of helicopters yes. are going up. Yes. Some people, they do the trek. Okay. Uh, base camp at Kalapata. Okay. When they finish, then they have money. Uh, they, they, they don't like to come down. So they, they say, use know, helicopter? Yes. Yeah. They're going higher. That's where Namja Bazar is. We're going to go to like 3,800 meters or so. We're going to wait there like 30 minutes and then we're going to come back to Namja Bazar. Rama, I see over there. That used to be a place for airplanes. And later they found out that uh, all the tourists coming from Kathmandu have uh, altitude sickness as they come here directly. That's why they changed this airport to Lukla, uh, down to Lukla. And now it's only available for helicopters now. We made it to 3,885 meters. We made it to the viewpoint. For acclimatization today, that's Mount Everest, right over there, Loche and Amadamlam. Just look at this view, it's just insane, right? And we are so lucky to capture this much clear sky. It usually is cloudy and it's not, not this clear. Wow, so lucky. I'm so lucky to be here actually. I need energy. Don't judge me. <laughs> Tea break. Now we are heading down to Namja Bazar. We finished our acclimatization. We're gonna go back and rest for today. Going down is easier. <laughs> I would see this weave anywhere else in the world. You get to see the mountains like with a panoramic view. Back in Namja Bazar. Hello! <laughs> Here in Namja Bazar, I think you can find pretty much you're looking for a pharmacy, hospital, yeah. shops, restaurants. And the prices are not too expensive as well. Of course, it's more expensive than the city center, yeah. but I mean, it makes sense.
No, good morning from a new day. Every day I feel like I'm gonna be sick, but I don't. Breakfast looks nice. So yesterday I had a good sleep because of decomposition, I think. Right, so we are getting ready for today. Emrah got sick yesterday, he was uh, having problems with his stomach. Savash couldn't get asleep and Riza is also <laughs> very tired. Nonetheless, you go now and the new day starts. Let's go. Alright, time to head up to the next location. As you see, there are a lot of helicopters here. We are now heading on to our next location today, which is going to be 3,800 meters or so above sea level. Today's walk is easy at the first phase, but in the second phase, we're going to have some difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best thing about today is that we get to see uh, the mountains and uh, we walk facing the mountains today. One of my friends is feeling a bit sick. He threw up last night a lot. So we're carrying his back for him. And we're gonna be giving a tea break here, watching this beautiful scenery. I wish every coffee shop had this kind of view. I think I haven't had a tea with a better view. I would say this is the top. Wow, look at that mountain goat. We are heading to Dibuche now. We're gonna be staying the night there. So I put on my everything, like glasses, hat, socks and cream, because it's so sunny here. And also I just wanna give you some information about uh, this tour. We found this tour online. Um, I'm not going to give the website, you can also check it out. The prices are like 1,200 to 1,800 USD dollars. Uh, by giving this price, you actually um, book a tour, which includes flight tickets from Kathmandu to Lukla, and also accommodations and also breakfast, lunch and dinner. That's how most of the tours here are. And they're also porters, they carry your luggages. Uh, to the place that you're heading to every day. You also uh, have to pay for them as well. I'm actually doing this trip with a few friends of mine and uh, they're also really good at hiking and trekking. They've been to some other mountains before, so they're very well experienced. But these sweet animals are called yaks. Right, we're gonna go all the way down and climb up again. And here we are, our lunch place. We're gonna be having our lunch here, and then we're gonna continue this way. The foods here are really nice actually, and you have a lot of options. Then in between the routes, there are a lot of restaurants and coffee shops.
oxygen levels are dropping. We are passing through the welcome gate. Check out the view of this place. This is Temboche. Right, then we are going down this way. Five minutes ago, this was not me. <laughs> Five minutes ago, I was dying, but now I got my energy back. There are some crazy landslides here. Wow. We're almost here. In probably five minutes, the sun will set behind the mountains. Imagine going 400 meters in seven and a half hours. That's what we did today. We made it. Well, tonight I'll be sleeping here, and my view is this. Dinner time. <laughs> All right, so in, in higher altitudes, you have to pay for the Wi-Fi. This costs like five dollars. Good morning. By the way, this is my favorite uh, drink here. It's called honey lemon ginger. It's really nice. I love it here. So I had a shower yesterday. The water was either too hot or too cold. So I chose to burn it out. <laughs> Today we are heading to Dimbuche. And we're gonna be staying two days there for acclimatization too. We're gonna be walking there to like five hours. That's where I got my shower. Uh, they're guest showers. Uh, and they cost like five dollars. There we go. Day five. And I love the system here actually. It works just fine. Voila. <laughs> Wow, check out this view. And we're going up that way. So nice. We are so lucky with the weather so far. Like it's amazing. Welcome to Pamboche. We're gonna pass that village. These cute animals are called yaks. Most of the mountain population is Buddhist. That's why they don't cut them, they don't eat them, they respect them. So you see a large amount of population of yaks. We are heading to that town over there. We're gonna be having tea over there and then we're gonna climb a bit more to our final destination. Uh, it's called Timbo Pungoche? Timboche. Timboche. Why are the names are so difficult here, man? They're always like Buche, Buche. Same, same. Same, same, but different. <laughs> We are losing the trees here. As you see, we are about at 4,000 meters above sea level. Ah! These guys do the heavy lifting. They carry up to 25 kilograms. Every day they carry the luggages to the next destinations. We are officially over 4,000 meters. <laughs> It's time to have a tea break. Right, we passed the tree zones and we entered the mountain and rocky zones. My nose is constantly running. We are right now 
at like 4,150 uh, meters. Here. <laughs> here we are. This is the place we're gonna stay. room for two days this is no job I'm having difficulties breathing Alternative, luckily, so I'm gonna use this one. It's just too cold. <laughs> So I couldn't get any sleep last night. <laughs> I had to get up like every 15 minutes <laughs> because I was out of breath. I was like, <gasps> but today after acclimatization, I think I'm gonna be able to sleep better. So let's start the acclimatization day. All right, so we are staying here, down there. Now we're going up over there for acclimatization. Uh, it's gonna take us like two hours and then we're gonna come back down to our hotel. We made it to acclimatization point. And the view here is just insane. We are back from acclimatization and we're gonna be having our lunch now and get some rest. So we are still in Dimboche and in a lot of hotels here you have to pay for electricity. But I found a hotel here, it's called Cafe 4410. You can charge your stuff here for free. But you have to be warned that they only use solar systems here. So you have to come uh, when there's sun up, uh, otherwise they always close the systems and you cannot charge your phone or your stuff. The place is really nice and chill actually. I loved it here. Well, good morning. Today is the seventh day of our trekking and uh, today we are heading to 4,900 meters and tomorrow if you are lucky, we're gonna uh, go to uh, space camp. So without further ado, let's continue our trekking and head to Lobuche. Let's go. So we have like uh, seven kilometers and five hours of trekking from Dumbuche to Lobuche. Uh, step by step, it's getting more and more serious. <laughs> uh, my oxygen level right now is around 85%. <laughs> Wait for us, 4,900. Here we come.
It's your turn, man. Let's go! <laughs> We're gonna be having our tea break over there and then head up. After we go all the way up, it's gonna be flatter. But that part alone is gonna take us one hour. And there's a beautiful lake over there. Uh, yep, here. And I'm um, freezing. Yep. <laughs> it's starting to get really cold here. I think we're gonna be seeing like minus 15, minus 20 today. But we're gonna do this. It was too windy and steep. Let's see my blood oxygen. Cool, 93. We are right now at 4,600 meters, so we have to climb like 300 meters for our next destination. All right, we had our break here, and now we are heading up. I just see this amazing scenery, and I want to share with you. Look at this beautiful scenery! Oh my God! Wow, this is just insane. We gave a break here. We've got like 200 meters to climb. We're still heading up. It's really steep today. We almost made it to top. After here, we have like an hour left to the Bochen. <laughs> oh yeah. Bravo! Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bring it, come on! <laughs> now 4,850. Yeah, right? We got 80 meters to climb. <sighs> Up that way. Time to get some rest. This is just amazing. I'm not sure if I will ever, ever, you know, see this kind of view in my life, but I'm glad I came here, you know. Earth is a part of me that I'm exploring every day. And this right here is a huge part of me. That's why I'm glad I'm here. Wow, fog is coming behind us. And we are heading this way getting colder and colder more difficult to breathe and walk wow on 14 of october this year this helicopter crashed here and the pilot died in it the ruins are still here all right we're almost there. That's the village we're gonna stay for the night. We made it to Lobuche. This is 4,900 meters. We're gonna stay here for one night and then go to base camp tomorrow. Welcome to our hotel. 
and world's highest bakery cafe. This is where we're gonna be staying tonight. It's getting more and more difficult every day, but we've come so far. One last day remaining. We're gonna do it. And we have arrived in our hotel. Bring it, come on. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing great, thank you. <laughs> All right. That's my lunch. I wanted to show you the sunset from the hotel. That's the Mount Nupse. Show you around. <sighs> These are the foods. There's even a documentary about Everest playing on the screen here. Of by the mart. Ben has all jump. Don't know what Jim said. The cake is not so bad, but <laughs> no, yeah, not my top ten, you know. <laughs> Whoa! Check out the scenery we just saw after the coffee shop. And by the way, that's how a typical uh, evening looks like. People gather together in the common area, they have fun, they talk, they meet each other, and then when the fire's off, they will go back to their rooms and get some sleep. <laughs> All right, tomorrow is the big day. We are heading to Air Space Camp, and uh, we're gonna get up at 5 and head to Air Space Camp at 6 6 30. After the Air Space Camp, if I have the energy, I think I'll try to go to Kalapatar Summit. Let's see tomorrow if I can make it or not. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow early in the morning. And um, wish me luck. <laughs> Well, good morning. Yesterday I couldn't get any sleep. Right now it's like 5.45. I'm ready for today, but it's just gonna be extra, extra difficult. I checked my blood oxygen in the morning. It was 74%. And I will do this trip today with my Niv hat from Kathmandu, the panda. <laughs> Alright, so one of our friends got really bad because of the altitude and he had to go back. So we rented a horse for him and he went back to Namcha Bazaar. We're gonna be meeting him after uh, our space camp and this will be my breakfast. Bon appetit! So let's have our breakfast and start trekking to our space camp. Here we go. It's about seven. just doesn't feel her hands. We're gonna give her extra gloves. We also gave him extra gloves. Mines are thick at the moment. I'm doing fine, but it's too cold today. <laughs> Some people is going to early morning. That's why then it's toes, finger, toe everywhere. It's difficult, yeah. Feeling better? Okay. 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 A little bit, thank you. Okay, let's go. How are you? Good, good. How are you, young boy? <laughs> <laughs> Typical though. 
finally the sun is up and we are warming up a little. Uh, this head was supposed to be a joke, by the way, but then now it's my best option because it's so cold and <laughs> it covers my ears too. So I'm, I'm using this uh, for the whole day today. Heading to Gorakshep now and uh, leave our stuff there and then head to base camp directly. We have like an hour left, I think. I'm surprised that there are so many people actually doing this trekking. Look at the amount of people you can see over there. Right now we are at about 5,000 meters. Look, you can find the same sand in the beaches, but also here in the mountains. It's a bit, it's a bit surprising. And here we are, Godakship, the last stop before Everest Base Camp. And that's Kalapatar. Uh, if I have the energy after Everest Base Camp, I'm gonna climb up there um, and watch the sunset. Alright, we are now leaving Godakship and heading to Everest Base Camp. We have like two hours left. We are running a little bit late to go to Kalapatar, unfortunately. So we'll see about that when we are done with Everest Base Camp. Whoa! We have 30 minutes left, we're almost there. There's a nice lake over there. You can still see the Kumba glaciers. It goes all the way down where we came from. <laughs> you too? <laughs> yeah, finally. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you too, man. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone here is as crazy as the other. <laughs> Who made it to the space camp? <laughs> Finally! Oh my god. This is what our eight days were for. <sighs> to reach to this rock. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's taking their photos here. Are we covering anything? Be careful what I do, man. Guys, we made it to the very space camp. Yeah! <laughs> I've seen the base camp, but I'm not satisfied. Uh, I'm gonna try to go to Kalapatar, but I don't have enough time. I'm just gonna go and try it. And I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. That's, that's the saddest thing. I ran back to catch the Kalapatar summit for sunset. But the weather has gone crazy. Just gonna go to hotel and have some lunch. You cannot even imagine how tired I am. I came back from the base camp real quick. Even though the weather has gone bad, I'll still try to, you know, uh, climb up to uh, Kalapatar. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. And breakfast was at seven and now it's three. Whoa. I'm gonna try my chances and head up to Kalapatar. And it's snowing right now, actually. See? There's a heli there. I think someone is sick. Okay. Uh, this is just too difficult. After the base camp, this was a bit too much. I finally made it to the top. 
This is officially 5,600 meters. This is the end of sunset, so I'm just gonna try to capture the sunset before it ends. And the official peak is over there. After my shooting ends, I'm gonna go over there and finish this climbing too. I think it was the most difficult thing that I did during this whole trekking. That's Mount Everest you see on the left and on the right. Noops, all right. We are heading down and it's too cold. But check out the scenery. Abi hiç güven vermedi bu iş bana ya. Gayet güzel, gayet. Abi, we're gonna first stop in Namca Pazar, right? That was the most terrifying thing I have ever done. All right. After the base camp, this is luxury. We are back in Lukla. And we're gonna be staying here for the night. And tomorrow night, we are heading back to Kathmandu. All right, so after EBC, our friend who got sick uh, got worse. That's why we had to rent uh, the helicopter to come back down and pick him up from Namja Bazar. And uh, we brought him down to Lukla, which is where I am right now. And um, he's gonna be fine. He's getting better, but uh, we didn't want to risk it. He was alone. And also, if you decide to come here, definitely wear. Um, really good shoes, which is really helpful. You should definitely get a bag with a really good back support. Uh, it also helps with the journey and um, lots of sunscreen. So for lower altitudes, you can use a cap like me or if for higher altitudes, you need to use a beanie because it's freezing out there. I hope you liked the video and if you do, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more contents. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.